In this video, we're going to cover the digital marketing KPIs. Now, the KPIs, these are key performance indicators that essentially give us an understanding of how well our campaign is running. So let's take a look at what a KPI is, right? This is a key performance indicator. And what this is here is a measurable value that demonstrates how effectively a company is achieving key business objectives. Now for us, since we're focusing in on paid ads, this is where we're going to see various KPI metrics. So let's go ahead and look at the first one here. So CPA, cost per lead or cost per action or acquisition, okay? And what this essentially means is how much it costs us to generate a new lead or a new opportunity. And then the formula for this is ad spend divided by total lead. So Here's an example. If we spend $100 and we get 10 leads, that equals to $10 per lead. So $10 per lead is going to be our cost per acquisition, cost per lead, right? $10. So for every lead that we get in, we know that it's costing us $10 because we spent 100 and we got 10 leads. Very straightforward. And so then we have the cost per click, CPC. And this is exactly how it sounds. How much money is spent to get somebody to click on our ad, right? And to work out this formula, it's ad spend divided by number of clicks. So let's say we spend $100 and we get 100 clicks. That's $100 divided by 100, which equals $1 per click. So for every $100 we're spending, uh, we are getting 100 clicks and each click cost us $1. Very straightforward as well, and uh, very easy for us to understand. And then CTR, click-through rate. And so this refers to the percentage of people who actually click on the ad. So an example of this is let's say that we run an ad and it reached 100 people. And then 10 of those actually clicked on it, then we would have a CTR or click-through rate of 10%. So here's the formula. Number of clicks divided by number of impressions. Here's another example we can take a look at. 1,000 people see an ad, and then 100 people actually click on the ad. So that's 1,000 divided by 100, right? Because 1,000 is the amount of impressions. And then the 100 are the amount of people that actually click on the ad. So that's 10% click-through rate. And then we have return on ad spend, so ROAS. And so this is essentially how much we've made versus how much we've spent on ads. And then the formula for this is revenue from ads divided by ad spend. And so let's take a look at the example here. So we spend $2,000 and we make $10,000. The return on ad spend is 500% because that's $10,000 divided by 2,000, which equals five. So either five to one or 500%. That's gonna be our return on ad spend. And then we have CR, the conversion rate. And the conversion rate refers to the percentage of people who convert from prospects into actual customers or leads. And let's look at the formula here. So we have the number of conversions divided by the number of clicks. So we went through the click-through rate, right, previously, and now we wanna see out of how many people that actually clicked, how many of those actually bought or you know filled out their information or took our desired action, okay? And so we have 250 people who either buy a product or fill out their information and then divided by 1,000 people who actually clicked on the ad. And so our conversion rate is 25% because 1,000 people clicked, 250 people actually converted, and so that's 25%. And then we have CPM, cost per mile. And what this essentially means here is how much you've paid for a thousand people to see your ad. And the formula for CPM is ad spend divided by impressions times 1,000. So let's look at an example here. So we spend $100 on an ad and 5,000 people see it, okay? So our CPM is $20. So that means that we spent $20 for every thousand people that saw our ad, right? That's our CPM. So every time thousand people are seeing our ad, right, the impressions, it's costing us $20.
And so that's the CPM, cost per mile. And then we have ultimately here the return on investment. This is the most important here because all the other KPIs, as far as the conversion rate, CPM, CPC, CPA, all that comes into play in our final return on investment, right? So this is where we're measuring the total amount of return versus our initial investment. And so the ROI formula is total revenue minus cost divided by cost. So let's say that we spend $100 on ads and then we get $500 in sales. So let's look at the breakdown here. $500 in sales minus $100 on ad spend divided by $100 equals four. So our ROI is $4 for every $1 spent. So 400% because we spent $100 on ads and we made $500 on sales. So these KPIs here are very important for you to understand in the digital marketing space. Um, ROI is typically going to be, like I mentioned, the ultimate number that you're going to be looking at. Uh, but when you're running your campaigns, you wanna make sure you're looking at the cost per lead, cost per click, click-through rates, so that you can better optimize your campaigns and find out whether or not you need to adjust or modify your ads or adjust or modify your landing page or any other part of your funnel. So that's going to be it here for the digital marketing KPIs and we'll see you on the next one.